Hey everybody, welcome back to my Astromech channel. It's been a while since my last update. Today I want to take a look at how I built the dome for my R6 unit and how I got to where I am now. I decided to have a go at a 3D printed dome, so I modeled this one in Fusion using the dimensions that have been generally accepted in the R2 Builders Club. There hasn't been any R6 droids in any of the movies to this point, so we don't have an official spec, but some good guesses can be made by looking at the R5 droids, for example. Once I had my model built, I broke it into 28 pieces for printing. I did all of this more than a year ago and since then I've got larger printers and more experience with managing bigger models. So if I was starting this project today, I'm sure I would do things a little bit differently. To bond the individual parts, I used both 30 minute epoxy and CA glue. I assembled the main shell of the dome bit by bit, clamping the parts together at the top and to a board at the bottom. Once the pieces were joined into larger but still manageable chunks, I moved on to finishing up the lower part of the dome. I used an MDF disc cut with my router and a jig to be sure that I ended up with a perfect circle. After a bit of cleanup to the top surface of the base, the shell was attached with CA and number 6 screws. The screw holes are molded into the pieces and are sized to give a good bite with no cracking. And they help to keep everything aligned properly as this thing is assembled. I used small C-clamps were needed to keep things oriented properly. And I had to move relatively quickly to make sure I got things in place before the CA sat. I worked my way around the dome adding pieces and trying to keep the geometry correct. And all the while I was just hoping that things were going to line up at the end. If I'm being honest, I'd say that I was only cautiously optimistic at best that this thing was going to come together at all. As I came around to zip up the final seam, I was pleasantly surprised with how well it came together. You may see the small shim that I needed to add right at the end to close it up, but all in all it worked out pretty well. With the main shell complete, I turned to the top, which was cut into eight pieces, which needed to be joined and then attached to the top of the shell, again using CA and screws. Okay, so I've got all the pieces of the dome cobbled together here, and I'm basically happy with the way this is going. I did run into one significant problem though. When I was putting the main shell together at the very end, I couldn't get the last two pieces pulled together and still maintain the shape and the size of the dome. There was something wrong with the geometry there. It was like, I, I don't know where I lost it, but it, there wasn't enough material to pull it together. It's clearly something I need to take up with the engineers in the design department. But in the meantime, I just pushed through. What I ended up doing is uh, I printed off a, a really thin slice of one of the panels that I was trying to bring together. Um, in fact, it was only 1.25 millimeters is all I needed. And I placed that shim in the, in the gap there and pulled it together. And it came together okay. 
So in the end, I'm fairly happy with the way that's, that, that worked out. When I started this part of the project, I had every intention to make a mold of this dome and use it to make a composite one. But at this point, I'm going to leave this one mounted to R6T3X and carry on with my build. I may have another go at version 2.5 of this dome where I'll address the few issues that I have with this one and maybe that one will end up in glass, I don't know. I want to thank everybody who has subscribed to this channel or liked a video, I really do appreciate it. I'm going to leave you now but next time we're probably going to be looking at the droid's feet. We're getting really close to something that looks like a completed droid. And until next time remember, there is no try.